In this video, we will learn how to edit the NextGen Gallery. You, when you log in and go to the dashboard, you will look for your tools here on the left-hand side and find the gallery. Here you'll expand it. Click on Add Gallery Images. To add a new gallery, you'd have to um, add new gallery right here and then put in the name of your gallery my new g-a-l-l-e-r-y and then you add your gallery now to upload images to that gallery you have to be on the upload images tab you choose the gallery we're going to choose my new gallery you'll browse your computer find all the images that you want to add to the gallery click open and then they'll all list here. And when they list, you'll go Upload Images, and then the program will upload them all. Now it's creating thumbnails for your gallery. Now you'll click on Manage Gallery to manage your gallery. Notice that the gallery, my new gallery I just added, was ID number 2. And DinoCale Week 1 is ID number 1. Now I'll click on the new gallery I just added. And here I can edit all the images in this gallery. I can exclude them or include them. And I can add a description or title tags for SEO. Now if I want to make a quick thumbnail a certain size, you can select like this and it'll select all of them do a bulk action and then you go create new thumbnails apply then you can pick the size of your thumbnails and if you want to ignore the aspect ratio to not make them portraits and then you click OK and then it will resize all your thumbnails according to the sizes that you want that will fit in your gallery page now, to add the gallery to your page or your post, you go up to Posts, you find, this is where I added this DinoCale gallery. You'll see here it says NG Gallery ID equals number one in between these two brackets. That's how the gallery is added there. The NG stands for Next Gen Gallery, then your ID equals 1. Now let's go view this page. And you'll see, here's the gallery and those images. And the images in the gallery. And you can click on them, and then view them. You'll see you have these little navigations to go through it and you'll see here's the title right here and when you click on it it goes back away and this one to look really nice I added it in a table you'll see here you can see the outline of the table there's a little table inside that holds it really nicely and that's how you manage your gallery now if you wanted albums you can have many different galleries and then add a new album so it's my new Album A L B U A L B U N. Then you add your album, and here's your album. You click on it to work with that album, and within that album, let's say we're in that album right here, you add which galleries you want to add to that album, and then you'll click update. But we're not going to do that because we don't want to add those galleries to the album. But I'm just showing you how to do that. Now, when you're doing your um, categories, you will probably want, every time you do a new, like, you'll probably want a new album, or new album, new gallery for each page. So make sure you create a new gallery here for each page. And following those rules, and making sure which ID number it is, and then adding it into the post.